In this Vivo Meetings review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Vivo Meetings. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Vivo Meetings. Vivo Meetings is a software that helps you upgrade your meetings. This is what you should see once you've logged in. So in this review, I'm going to go ahead and dive deep into every feature and show you everything about the software Vivo Meetings. Overall, the dashboard looks pretty good. You can see here we've got our account in the middle, we've got the start button here any schedules or you can actually join a meeting up here in the top left this is an icon if you click on this it should always take you back to this dashboard page to the right of that you've got the same button but it's the home button and then to the right of that you have any scheduled meetings and then to the right of that you have any contacts that you have on vivo meetings all the way to the right of that you have your search button then finally on the very right you have your account page if you click on that it brings up all of these settings right here you have the settings option you have your admin and billing you have your address book any recordings you have your meeting details, downloading apps, your connection tests, help, and you can also sign out. This is actually the free trial that I'm going to be reviewing. However, if you have just started, you can actually also upgrade right here by clicking upgrade now. That should take you to the upgrade page. So we're going to go ahead and start off with this part right here. This is the start option. To the right of that, you can actually click to screen share without your audio. And you also have your join settings right here. You can join with video on. To the right of that, you have your schedule. And once you you click on that this page right here should appear you can actually schedule any meetings with your connections so right here you can go ahead and title your meeting you can set the date and time for your meeting and you can write a little description so we're going to go ahead and write the title so i went ahead and just named it new meeting just to show that i can actually change the title we're going to also go ahead and set a date and time it should open up this section right here which is easy for setting date and times for meetings we're going to go ahead and just set it for sunday the 23rd and then right below that you can actually also change the time for your meetings once you click on it it should open up this section right here and we're going to go ahead and scroll through and set it to 5 30 p.m to the right of that you can also set the duration of your meeting and we're going to go ahead and scroll over and we're going to set it on an hour and 30 minutes right below that you can type a little description for your meeting which we're going to go ahead and type i went ahead and typed in a little description just so i can show you guys that you can type it in there and it does actually work right below that you can actually set to repeat any meetings you can actually change time zones you can also check security security settings and you can have a conversation slash collaboration mode and you can also click to automatically record any meetings so once you've filled out that information you can go ahead and go to the bottom right corner here and click cancel or next we're going to go ahead and click next once you click that you can actually type in any participants however we don't have any contacts like it says so if you have any emails that you want to add you would add them here by typing in the email and then clicking this plus section once you've done that you can go ahead and click next as well in this page you can actually choose any any phone numbers any dial-in phone numbers like it says up here again you'd search them in the search bar and then click any that are below that we can't do this section so I'm gonna go ahead and click next on this part too finally once you have clicked next you should be greeted with this final page you should have your title your date your meeting mode participants but we don't have any right now description and any security finally we're gonna go ahead and click schedule and once you have clicked schedule this should show and it should say new meeting has been scheduled you can go ahead and copy any details for you to actually share the meeting to anyone you want and right here you have your description and how many participants would be in the meeting to the right of that you can actually click to show all or even attending or maybe attending or even anyone who has declined the meeting finally once you've done all that you can go ahead and click done so once you click done it should take you back to this page however now we want to go ahead and look if we've actually scheduled our meeting so what you want to do is go up to the top left corner up here and rather than clicking on the home page you want to go ahead to the right like we said and go onto the meetings page once you go on that it should take you to this however our meeting hasn't shown up because we are on the past meeting session you want to quickly go ahead and go to the left of that the up Coming meetings since we did set it in the future once you've clicked on that it should take you to this and as you can see here our new meeting right here has been set if you want to go ahead and schedule a new meeting you can go ahead and do so right here easily by clicking this button schedule a meeting right below that you have the dates in case you have tons and tons of meetings you can go ahead and change the date so you can see when any meetings are due right below that you can actually see our meeting right here you can see it's set for the 23rd on a Sunday you can see the title of it 
and you can see the time that it will last for. All the way to the right, you can edit your meeting by clicking this button. You can actually preview your meeting to the right and you can also cancel it. We're gonna go ahead and see what the edit section is like. Once you click the edit, you should actually be taken back to the same page as creating the meeting. And once you click the preview, it should open up this page, which is the same page as your finished meeting. If we want to go ahead and cancel a meeting, you just click cancel by clicking this button right here. And it should say cancel meeting. Are you sure you want to cancel this meeting? All participants will actually be sent an email letting them know that it has been canceled. We're going to go ahead and cancel it just so I can show you guys what happens. Once you go ahead and click this button right here, cancel meeting, it should say meeting successfully canceled down here. And then now you don't have any meetings for this month. Finally, to the right of this section up in the top left, finally, you can go to your contacts like we've shown before. And once you have clicked on your contacts, you can see you have your address book. Again, we don't actually have any contacts because we have no one to contact as of yet. However, for you guys, you would have someone to contact if you were setting up any meetings with friends or business partners. So you can go ahead and either import any contacts, you can add them manually right here or you can even add a group. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the features of adding a contact manually. Once you've clicked this button, add contact, it should open up this right here to the right. You can go ahead and type in a name, an email, phone number mobile, phone number business, phone number home, or any other phone numbers. We're gonna go ahead and type in a random name just so I can show the features. I went ahead and typed in Mike Johnson just as a random name, and we're also gonna go ahead and type in a random email. Once you've typed in a random email, you can go ahead and also add a phone number. And for the phone number section, you can also change the country that the number is in. So we're not in the United States right now, we're in the UK. So you can actually click on the flag and go ahead and change it to the UK. I went ahead and quickly typed in a random number and we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Once you've finished in your contact, you should go ahead and click save in the bottom right. And once you've clicked save, it should say, Mike Johnson successfully created or whatever name you inputted and now in your contact section all contacts you should have your contact back all the way at the home page you can also see that you can actually copy your meeting room link and you can also view your audio conferencing details that's pretty much all you need to know about vivo meetings features and it is a very distinctive software and there you go that is it for the vivo meetings review overall it's a very well established software and it does the job for setting and scheduling meetings a few features that i liked about the software is that you can actually schedule meetings easily and also easily add contacts so you don't actually have to do a lot of the work. Overall, I think it's a great software and I would definitely recommend it to any business partners or any friends that I have. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again.